Hey everybody, welcome to Geeks Rising. This is my Bander and I am Vlog. My name is Bander and you are watching my vlog. So I have seriously been trying to give up caffeine for quite some time and I have to be honest with you guys, it's not going well. And if I have to be even more honest with you guys, I have no idea why I'm trying to give it up. It's amazing. So all that's been happening when I've been trying to quit caffeine is that I've just been getting massive headaches. So I figured I'd do a little bit of research and try to find out what's actually going on with my body and what caffeine is doing to me. A little bit of a disclaimer, it's not any thorough research. It's it's just reading an article or two or maybe probably just one article that's what it is it's one article so other than waking you up making you feel awesome in the morning and giving you that feeling that you could dominate any stupid thing that gets in front of you during the day what is caffeine actually doing to your body so in your brain there's a chemical that's called adenosine which is created and then it binds with adenosine receptors this chemical actually makes you feel tired and sleepy so let's go ahead and call it the pizza chemical because that's a term that I can actually pronounce and whenever I eat a whole pizza I just want to take a Nap. The pizza chemical also dilates or makes your blood vessels in your brain a little bit bigger. So once you put the caffeine in your body, the pizza receptors think, wow, that looks a lot like pizza. I really want that pizza attached to me right now and then the caffeine gets attached to your pizza receptors. Once all your pizza receptors are bound with caffeine, all the cells start to speed up rather than slow down, which is what would happen if they were to bind with the pizza like they were supposed to. So after all this happens, your pituitary gland, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, it starts to notice that your brain is firing a lot faster and it starts thinking, oh no, oh no, oh no, what's happening? Something bad is about to happen. Something bad is definitely about to happen. And then it, it's, it releases all these hormones and those hormones go, tell your adrenal gland to release adrenaline and get ready because something bad is happening. So once the adrenaline gets out there, it dilates your pupils, it dilates your airways, it tightens your muscles and it increases your heart rate. So basically what I'm saying is adrenaline is the PF flyers for your body. So caffeine doesn't just mess with the pizza chemical part of your brain, it also messes a bit with your, your dopamine levels. If you don't know what dopamine is, dopamine is that chemical in your brain that says, oh my god, this is freaking amazing. It's basically what gets released when you eat pizza. So caffeine has a very similar effect to heroin. It actually slows down the reabsorption rate of dopamine in your brain to tell your brain like, oh my god, this is amazing, this feels freaking great. But uh, it does, caffeine has a much milder effect than heroin, and you're just gonna have to take scientists' word for it, because I'm definitely not gonna test it out, and I hope you guys won't test it out either. Caffeine doesn't just make you feel good and wake you up, it actually has some medical application. Caffeine can actually improve or increase the effects of acetaminophene or aspirin. Caffeine can also be used with certain medications to help with cluster headaches or migraines. Harvard did a study showing that if you drink one to three cups of coffee per day, your chances of getting diabetes decrease by 9 Harvard found something even more amazing during that study. It's if you drink over six cups of coffee a day, it decreases the chance of getting diabetes by 54% in men and 30% in females. How awesome is that? I just want to pour coffee in my face now. That's definitely not all the, the medical uses that there are for caffeine. So I, I highly recommend you go out and do a little bit of research for yourself because caffeine is amazing. It does so much cool stuff and it makes you feel good. It gets you up. It, get, it, it allows you to do stuff. How great is that? So basically all the information in this video came from one article, which I'll link in the video description. Also, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, if you hated my, my voice, the video, or my stupid ugly face, give it a big ol' thumbs down. If you did like it, go ahead and click subscribe by clicking the cartoon version of me, and I will see you guys next Monday. Thank you for watching, bye.